hello uh, welcome back to my channel it's burn here um today i am back with my capricorns yes capricorns it's been one year since i've done a uh, tarot reading for you so happy birthday capricorns merry christmas if you're still celebrating christmas and a happy new year if you're um if you're celebrating the new year um you guys are um the um unfortunately you guys are the devil card capricorns so we'll get into the devil card in a minute there's just a few more intro things i'd like to do um like these crystals i've got a um I think they said this was a white jade. I pulled that out of my, um, don't know whether you can see that. That is a white, can you see that? White, white jade. That is a white jade. I pulled that out of my um, advent calendar the other day because I'm filming this on the 2nd of December and today's uh, crystal is a blue pebble. Blue pebble. So yeah, I didn't I didn't pull out your birthstone. I was kind of hoping when I done this film I would have pulled out your birthstone. But Capricorns, I didn't quite pull out your your birth birthstone however uh if you want to know for next year what to get anyone spiritually for the lead up to christmas who would like a calendar but not chocolate related i got this calendar obviously i've opened my two doors the third one will be open tomorrow and it's basically crystals rocks and for healing and rejuvenation and stuff like that so great great christmas present to the run up to christmas now with that all said and done i was saying about your birthstones and stuff like that capricorn i am now going to mention about capricorns now me looking at this devil card there's a little bit of element of i would say hmm, a little bit manipulative a little bit controlling a little bit sort of there's a devil inside you there's a you're you're kind of also organized um also caring though as well and lovable but you've got this real i've got this real urge of um three 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 just popped out if um that's the number for you to look up a real kind of mischievous kind of attitude as if to say yeah, don't cross me you know so yeah uh, so um capricorns um i'm gonna get up your some information about you which you probably already know an 0404 came out there so you probably already know um what it is okay so capricorns you are the tenth in the zodiac signs you're not actually the first the only reason I started doing um, readings for Capricorns and stuff on the first of the when I started out this channel, I'd done it first. It's because it was New Year, or what to get into something. So, yes, Capricorns, you're the tenth um, astrological sign of the zodiac signs which is also a completion number so you're also quite grounded okay and you are the symbol of the seahorse 
and you're an earth element. Now that's why I say you're quite grounded, you're quite, you know, focused in what you do. Um, your dates are the 21st of December, that's why I said Happy Christmas, and the 20th of January. So Happy New Year and a Happy Birthday. I know quite a lot of Capricorns and um, they are very, very organised, but you cross them, whoo, hoo, hoo. yeah, not, not good, not good if you cross them. <laughs> You're a cardinal sign, you are ruled by Saturn and um, I'm also going to do celebrities that have passed away that you might share a birthday with. So, a Mr. Elvis Presley was born on the 8th of January, one month before me. But he was born in 1935. Sadly, he passed away, and if you've ever seen the... Um, documentaries and stuff about um, Elvis Presley sadly passed away on the 16th of August 1977 you've also got I will go into more to Elvis Presley in a later date in January try and get it on his birthday see whether the cards will uh, come to me on his birthday so, um, your birthstone um, is Garnet, Garnet, sorry. So I have here from the Solemn Spirit the Garnet card. It also says, cleanse your mind, body and spirit. Feel energised, which I do. And the Capricorns that I know are so energetic. I mean, to the point where I'm sort of like, Jesus, will you just slow down? Can a girl get a breath here? <laughs> so, um, yeah, Capricorns are very, uh, very on the go, very upbeat, very much so wanting to think. So, um, yeah, Garnet is your birthstone. So I'll just pop that there. So with the Devil card... And the garnet, you're a very kind of grounded, but you can also be quite convincingly, <laughs> a little bit, not intentionally, not meaning to be, but a little bit um, mischievous, manipulative, I find, um, a little bit kind of, um, this is what I'm getting from the devil card, sort of like, um, you kind of like things your way. You kind of like things your way. And I'm not meaning that in a horrible sense at all. Um, you can source the garnet from Brazil, Italy, Madagascar, Skylark uh, and the US. Um... You, like I said, you are very rooted and your shackle, um, your sacral, um, your chakras are the root and the sacral, which is um, planting your feet and your bottom and the uh, between your pelvic bone and below your belly button is your sacral chakra now i'm sorry to say that i find um capricorn you might be the most sexual of um of uh star signs as well you've you've got this rooted kind of sexy sexual aura about you uh, traits, you are very ambitious, um, 
determined um, very strong um, yeah you you very ambitious strong determined um, materialistic as well you like your material items so they're your kind of traits your weaknesses are very you you can be sometimes very pessimistic and greedy and this is where the i find the devil bit comes into you uh, very greedy very fearful very ruthless in what you say sometimes um yeah i would put man a little bit manipulative in there as well so they 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 your weaknesses but there's nothing wrong with that it's just part of you as a capricorn and 11 11 just popped up then um for a, a sign if you want to google 11 11 and also confirms to me that i am on the right track so i'm just going to put your card just there and we will get into a reading for you so right um capricorns i am now going to do your reading now this deck of cards what i am holding here is no longer in print i got these cards when i was 14 i have no box no book because when my mum passed away i got rid of the book don't know why i just got rid of the book thought no i'm, I'm not into tarots anymore i've grown up 14 years old i purchased these and i've come back to tarots so um yeah so i'm not gonna get rid of these cards i'm gonna pull them out for you today they are a very old deck that are not in print anymore um i used um if you saw my Capricorn film a year ago, 110101, just come out then because I restarted my camera again. Um, if you saw my um, Capricorn um, film from last time, this is where I got the devil card from last time. I'm using the Rider Waite Smith one um, now, and uh, yeah. So. I'm going to shuffle these cards, cleanse them, <laughs> and then I'm going to shuffle these cards. I haven't used these in a while, actually. I might shuffle them this way. Small hand syndrome. I'm going to get out three cards for my Capricorns. Okay. With the intention of the past, present and future. And then I'll pull additional tarot readings to try and clarify something. And then some, um, some oracle cards. So, let's pull some cards out for you. That one wants to come out. What one was that? Ten of Cups. Ten and ten. So you are the tenth card with the Ten of Cups. And Cups is emotion and Cups is water. So you are an Earth card. So um, you could be with this Ten of Cups. You could be completing um, emotional... Um, emotional stuff with either a scorpio i think is it scorpio cancer and pisces i think it's scorpio cancer and pisces let me get my book out because i sometimes forget Yeah, 
Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces are the water signs. So are you, are you um, completing emotional overflowing um, celebration? I get celebration here with a um, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. A lot of love as well for you. There's a lot of love going around. Something mm -hmm. like, and for 0404 came out then as well, which might be a message. A lot of love out there for you. Your cups are overflowing with emotions. And like I said, you are the tenth card with the tenth of emotions here. So that makes twenty. Uh, if we take. To, uh, if we take the number 20 um, downsize it to a 2 which it is you're very balanced as well Capricorn you're a very very balanced side and then I saw 0444 which also could be a sign if you want to look up ok so yeah Right, let's carry on and let's see what... So, in the past you've been very completing a very emotional love thing. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Again, it's an earth sign, it's your sign. So, so it could be uh, you, Taurus, or Aries, I think. You, Taurus, or Aries. Um, no, Virgo. Sorry, Virgo. You, Taurus, or Virgo. And I see this as a, a young person in your life that's starting out and... Um, is trying to probably grow their finances because I'm seeing a green hair which is a hat chakra green also means prosperity um, and like I said you you overflow and it's also abundance green and pentacles and that and I get Taurus is a very very abundant um abundant card this and i'm getting taurus vibes by this bit because we've got a what was it a taurus virgo and you so you in the main devil card there's horns the sea goat the goat has horns yeah um so taurus has horns you have horns virgo I'm not too sure of. So I'm I'm still on a learning plane here. But every time I do one of these readings, I learn more and more and more so that I can give more to you guys. And I'm feeling growth. And this person is growing. This is your present. Okay? So are you, as a Capricorn, growing? Are you growing your emotions? Are you growing your love? Are you growing your prosperity? Are you growing your heart? So this is present. This is past. Okay, so let's get one more card for your future. That one, death. Definitely what's correct. And it's the Five of Pentacles. And that's reversed. Hmm. Five of Pentacles reversed. It's like... It's like you don't believe this has happened to you. It's like you're delaying it to come through to the future. Whatever's going on here 
it's like you're delaying it to come through you you're gonna be quite prosperous i would say in the future um capricorn but you're delaying it coming through so are you ah now that i've just looked are you going into your weaknesses because it's delayed so are you going into greed and fearful and ruthlessness and that's what's delaying you trying to grow this present person to become really, really prosperous in the future. We will find out. We will find out. I will get the Rider Waite Smith deck out now. Now, bearing in mind the Rider Waite Smith deck, we already have your card out. So, let me cleanse the cards and I'll give them a quick shuffle. Actually, I'll do it this way with this, these cards. I can do them better than this way. Oh, so can we have a card for the Ten of Cups, please? Card for the Ten of Cups, please. Sorry, I keep knocking my... Oh, and I think you've got one, that one. Right, so I have the Eight of Swords for the emotional thing. Eight of Swords. So what, so you had a lot of love and I, I, I feel like you were bound and gagged by this, maybe smothered by this love. Uh, you didn't believe in this love. Uh, you were blinded to it. To uh, how how many people actually kind of get showed you love in the past, and you your thoughts were. Now I'm shutting them out. What O one O one came out then, so that might be a message. So like, mm, nah. I don't believe anyone could love me that much. You blind, your thoughts are bounding you, blinding you, gagging you. This is to say, I'm not letting them in. I'm not letting them in. So. Why weren't you letting them in? Why did you have to bound and gag yourself? So let's get a card for the the present, the page of oh messages. The messages were coming in, and you're getting a lot of messages coming in, and even in this um, reading. I've spared out a lot of angel numbers here. So your messages are coming in and they're coming in fast because we have the swords here, we have the wands here. <coughs> also wands are to do with passion. Also, um, because we've had the pentacles, you may have been thinking... Um, about different star signs and different people with star signs and stuff like that. Because um, the swords are for um, intellectual thoughts and the astrological signs for swords are Aquarius, Gemini and a Libra. And for the wands are... Sagittarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Aries and Leos. 
are the ones which are fire signs. So you're getting fiery messages. They just pow, 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 pow to your future self. To your future self. So you have been blocking your future self. There's loads of people love you, but you have been blocking yourself from growing. Your future self are getting loads of messages. Yeah? that you don't believe in, which means saying that you are not bringing in this growth of prosperity. And again, heart chakra, a lot of heart chakra going on here. You need to open up your heart. And let's not, let's not, um, let's not forget, I said your chakras are the root and sacral. Yeah, so maybe you need to, although you're very creative, very um, sort of on a rooted scale, um, you maybe need to open your heart space. 0444 came out again, because I've started my camera up again. So 0444 came up again. So that's twice that's come out. We have the 10, 10, 2 balance. So I, I feel like it's a work in progress to find your balance through these messages. Right, so can we get something on this five of five of pentacles can we get something up on these five of pentacles i love doing these star sign readings for you guys there we are. I think that is the one. You're being very guarded. Why aren't you letting these messages come through, Capcom? Why aren't you letting these messages through? Nine of Wands. That's very, very... It's like you feel like you're being attacked. These messages are coming through, but you feel like you have to defend. And you feel like this is an attack on you. This is not an attack on you. But you now you're starting to see. You see how, you, how you're blinded here? And again, you've got a, a mental... Um, you got a mental kind of barrier up here. Okay, I feel now that you're starting to see the mental barrier has come up. And now the heart chakra barrier has come up. Your passionate um, barrier has come up. You're, defen you're defending. Sort of like... You're defending yourself. The blinkers have come off, but you still don't believe. So you're you're breaking down a little bit. You're breaking down your mind. You've broke down your mind, so the bones have come off. The blindfold has come off. Yeah. But you're still guarding your thought. You're still guarding it. You're not letting it through. You can see it, you don't believe in it. You don't believe in it. So now I'm going to get your astrological um, journey cards out from Soul and Spirit and see what they've got to say. So, 
Let's get these out and see. Like, have we got any clarifiers on what's going on with Capricorn here? Can we have some advice and some clarity here for Capricorns? Oh, no, we don't want the start. Oh, maybe we do. <laughs> New starts. That flew out. How to join, how, how to use us. Are you being used? So, let's, let's get some, um, let's get some, uh, cards out for you. And like I was saying, I do really enjoy, oh, how many have got here? Just the one. I really do enjoy doing these readings, especially this one today. It's um, You've shown me quite a lot, Capricorn. You've been very open to me today, Capricorns. The placement of the moon in your birth chart will reveal a lot about you. Habits, reactions... Uh, Instance and how you express your emotions. Are you finding it hard to express yourself at the moment, Capricorns? Or do you know of someone that's trying to stop in their emotions? And ten ten just come up then. So we have two ten tens. Yeah. You're a 10, card 10, 10, 10 come up then. Um, so that would be 3, 10, that would be 40, bring it down to a 4. There's something about work here as well. There's something going on about work here. Are you loving your work but you're not believing in the passion that you're, you're given? Right, I'm now going to do the spiritual, uh, mystical animals. See what see what they've got to say. So I'm going to pull a mystical animal out for you, and let's see what we get you. Let's pull a mystical animal. What what mystical animal card can tell? Um, our Capricorn something nice. I love these cards because they've got an owl on it. I think it's that one that wants to come through. They've got an owl on it and my an owl always signifies my mum to me. You know. <laughs> so get this one out. You've got the antelope. The antelope um, heightens your awareness and shifts your energy. They can tell you more attentive and watchful. So you've got uh, got the antelope, and again horns. I'm getting horns. Protecting your barriers. Not listening to messages. A lot of grounding here, and I think you need to do a lot of self grounding to bring yourself into your alignment of your heart chakra because you've got a lot of root chakra going on and sacral chakra so you're you how can i put this um i think you know in yourself you because uh, maybe you're feeling a little down in your looks um in your sexuality maybe but um, I feel that you know what you like and two, oh, two, two, two came out as I was thinking of this. You know what you like sexually. 
and you know what you like sexually as well and also the sacral chakra is um creativity so i'm gonna get you a, a moonology card eh? let's see what what we can see and these are one of the old moonology cards from Yasmin Bolin. I thought I'd go a bit old school with you today because I, I feel that kind of vibe from you. Um, 0303 came out. Maybe that was clarified to me to say that I'm on the right track. But you can go and check that out. Um, I feel you're a bit <laughs> old school. And you like old school ways. So. Let's find out what's going on. You don't want to play today or maybe that one wants to come out what have we got here what do we got here expect powerful changes this is what i'm talking about you're blocking something and you need to bring it into the new eclipse expect powerful new changes so we're looking in the new moon eclipse new moon eclipse new moon eclipse so i'm i'm not going to read it all i might read the teaching uh the attitude to the moon and the additional meanings of this card so yeah attitude to the moon never um never mind the past life evolves every single day this is what i'm talking about that was your past yeah this is your future yeah so let these messages come through because you're gonna have a very powerful change in your life very powerful change additional meanings to this card yes yes a thousand times yes so whatever it is you're trying to bring into your life whether it's prosperity healing your heart whatever it is do whatever you have to do to an 0707 come up there the angels are applauding you if you do this do whatever you have to do to expect this powerful change coming in you're being um i was that you're being shoved towards your life purpose Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. So listen to these messages that are coming through. Don't be blind and gagged and, you know, bound. You don't have to put up barriers like you are. Let them through. Let the messages come through. Um, this is an important turning point in your life okay this is an important 
turning point in my life. And you can use that as an affirmation. You can say, this is my important time. This is my important turning point in my life. You can say that as, a, as an affirmation. This is my important turning time in my life. Okay? So the teachings were... So there's a lot of astrological events going on at the moment and uh, they herald completions which you got here you got 10 and you're 10 completions I said that completions um, you might have to change a little bit of pace um, It's as though you're heading in one direction, being guarded by your ego. That's what it is. Your ego. Um, and uh, something about divine timing. Let the goddess and spirits... Um, let the goddess and spirits help you here. This is the messaging I'm getting. Let them help you. Because if you bring this new phase into your life, the angels will be um, applauding you. Positive changes are on the way. You've just got to wait for uh, divine timing. Let the messages come through. Time right, and you will be you'll be you'll be amazed by the difference that has been made. Okay, Capricorns, this is your reading. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Even if you weren't a Capricorn today, and this was your sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, if you just like watching my films and decide you want to watch this, thank you for joining me. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe to me down here. Uh, click the notification bell on all. I upload every Saturday. Um, like, share, tell your family, tell your friends that you have come on Burndex's channel, seen this film, you liked it. You like watching my films, so subscribe. Just, just down there. All right, my Capricorns. I wish you all the best. Bye.